everyone, it's Cassie with Cassie Can Craft. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we are going to be doing a Dutch pour, and this is a 12 inch by 36 inch canvas, so one foot by three feet. Um, I really do enjoy this size canvas. I think that it looks really nice, um, but it is sometimes a little bit challenging to get a good composition. So in past, uh, past tries, what I've done with this size canvas is um, do straight pours and wandering pours and things like that um, with multiple cups and then stretch it out. Today, we're gonna do a Dutch pour, so this should be interesting. The colors that we're going to be using today um, base color is going to be this really lovely uh, light very very light blue color it's actually this color here pretty much but with lots and lots and lots of white this color here is a turquoise green Uh, this color here, well, this is titanium white, so we'll go in order here a little bit more. Uh, this is a mix, so uh, this is the remainder of a couple of PBO that I've got. It's a mix of these two here. Mostly it's the iridescent blue-green, and it's a little bit of the iridescent green-blue. I'm pretty sure, could be vice versa, might be that way. It actually looks more green-blue than blue-green to me. Anyways, wanted to finish off those tubes. This is obviously more than I'm gonna need for this particular painting when we're doing a Dutch pour. The, <clears throat> the majority of what we are gonna use is the um, light blue here. Then we've got this one, which is actually just another iteration of this turquoise screen here with um, white in it, but less white than the background. This is a mix of colors. This is actually a um, blue-violet mixed with uh, ultraviolet. So it was um, ultramarine violet. So originally it was blue-violet and I put some of this in there to purple it up a bit, I guess. And then this one is one of the Masters Touch, Pearl, Masters Touch Pearlized colors. This is... Um, this one here, pearlized violet. <clears throat> and then one more, uh, maybe two more, potentially two more. So this here is just a really nice light pink. It may or may not be a mix, I'm not entirely sure. But it's just a nice opaque light pink. It may or may not add on a little bit of uh, some pops of color. This is a magenta mix that you've seen me use in a number of uh, videos recently. Um, there's a lot in here and I sometimes will like to use it uh, kind of sparingly, so a little bit here and there. Um, I think it would look nice as some pops in this piece, so I'll probably put a little bit in there, but not too, too much. going to do here today is we're going to start with some white. I think starting with white is going to give us a little bit of separation between this and our other colors. Now because this is such a long canvas, because this is such a long canvas, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have the flow not just go straight down the middle. I think that's a little bit too boring. So I think what I'll have, what I'll do is I'll have the flow come down onto the canvas here, somewhere over here, onto the canvas, down over, back up, and over to the edge. Um, so let's see how that goes. So I'll have some negative space in there. 
we will start at this corner and it down off the canvas back up not completely off the canvas and over to the edge I like that then we're gonna go with this dark uh, turquoise green color Now my paints are mixed, um, most of these um, are mixed one part paint to about-ish two parts of U.S. Floetrol and then water down to a very fluid consistency. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. A little bit of trace, not too much. It goes right back in. All right. So that's kind of what it looks like, if you can see that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put this lighter turquoise color. It's a little splotchier, isn't it? Try to make this one better. It's a lot harder to pour out of these um, containers. I really should get more squeeze bottles. Okay. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, we'll fix that up here in a second. <clears throat> now, if you watched my video a couple of um, couple times ago, there was a spot that I left behind that ended up um, not getting blown out with the Dutch pours. So let's just clean that up now. That way we don't have to worry about those errant dots. Okay, now I think I'm gonna save my iridescent blue, green, green, blue color. I think I'm gonna put that on top. What I'm gonna put on here next, I think, is gonna be this lovely purple color. Put a little more up in through here. Very nice. <clears throat> then we're going to go with the pink. All right, then this iridescent color. Good amount of that. Hopefully that will come through nicely. And then the shimmery purple. Let's put a little bit of this around the edge here. What I really want to do is kind of use this to blow a little over the top of our colors and then blow it out. Give it a little pink to move on because we kind of stretched it a little thinner when we stretched out the base coat. So let's do that. Okay. One more torch. Now yeah, let's go ahead and uh, blow this up.
a few areas here. So first off, really like these colors. Really, 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 really like these colors. Um, very happy with most of what is happening here. A little bit too much paint in a couple of areas. I'll, just, I'll be able to use this one here. Let's suck up some paint out of here. guys well here is the wet version of that piece I really love these colors together they are rich and jewel toned and really just gorgeous I'm very very happy with this I like the flow that I decided on um, I like that there's still some nice negative space here um, and some really gorgeous cells and lacing throughout this piece here. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this piece and take a look at the description and I, I'll put my recipe down there and a lot of the tools that I use including the hair dryer that I use for Dutch pours that I really like. So let's go ahead and start at the, this end of the pour here. Kind of get in and see some of those details. Oh, that's really pretty. That pearlized violet really is gorgeous in this flow. These colors mix well together. I'm glad that I decided to take the flow completely off the canvas and then back on again. That's really nice. Well, if you made it this far, please consider subscribing to my channel, uh, liking this video, helping other people discover me, uh, maybe even share this video with your friends. I really appreciate you joining me again. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one.